All right, so first you will need to download the Steam CMD file to your dedicated server using the link in the description. In the downloads, extract this file and paste it into your server directory on the root of C into a Steam CMD folder. Now I have already created an update file. The content of that file I've put in the description as well. So either create or move it into the Steam CMD folder as well. Then you run that update file and this will install both the C Steam CMD files and the Valheim server files for your server. So please note, while this is installing, I have not covered static IP configuration or port forwarding configuration if you need instructions on how to do those processes. I have explained it in the these videos in great detail. So please refer to them if you need to do static IP or port forwarding. Once that's installed, you need to configure your server. First thing you're going to do is something nobody else ever tells you about is you need to create a save directory or a save folder. You can name this folder whatever you like. I usually use numbers just because it makes it easy to find. Then you need to edit your start headless server file. I usually, of course, you know, use Notepad++. In there you're going to make some changes and add some things that nobody ever tells you about. So I usually rim that line out, keep it as a template, paste it down below. First thing you need to change is dash name, put in your server name. Then you need to change a dash world to whatever you want your world name to be. Then you're going to change dash password and you have to put in a password. You can't leave it blank. The, the, the game will not let you use a blank password. After that, you need to put in a dash one dash public space one. This will list your machine in the Steam server list. Then, after that, a dash save dir, something nobody else ever tells you about, and the path to your save folder or save directory. Put that in. This is vitally important for server management later. Once that's done, you want to save it. And then you're going to run it for the first time so that it'll install all the things all the things so doing this process step by step will always list your server in the steam list and there's my server how do I know well that's easy I right click and go to properties there's my IP address my server is listed in in all the testing I've done, it's listed every single time. Now, once your game server is connected and you've got confirmation that your game server is connected, you're, we're going to go in and shut it down. All right, there's your confirmation, game server connected. Now, you, technically, you could have people start connecting to your machine, but we want to do a few more things first. So go ahead here, you want to go ahead and press Control C in order to terminate the server. If you just hit the X on the window, you have a chance of corrupting the server and the files. So make sure you use Control C. You'll look in your save folder and it's created the needed admin banned and permitted list so you can manage your server as well as the worlds that are on your server that you can load. This will become important later. I will show you how to manage your worlds. Server world management and troubleshooting, something no other channel is going to cover with you. What if you and a friend were playing co-op on a world 
that is saved on your local machine and you want to put that on the dedicated server. Well, to do that, all you have to do is go into your dedicated server into the save file where the worlds are. And you'll see the world we just created. Here is the path to the directory on your local machine where the worlds you've been playing are saved. Go into that directory. In this case, we're going to use Jotun. Copy the FWL Jotun file and the DB Jotun file to our dedicated server. Paste those in there. Then you're going to open your batch file. Copy the last line from the world we just created. Paste it below and remark the old line out. And simply change the dash world parameter to Jotun. Save it. Now here you have a choice. You can create a Jotun.batch file. You can create a Helheim.bat file. You can create an individual batch file for each world if you choose. I keep it in one file. Just so I only load one at a time usually. Once you've saved that, simply load that file one time. And then we're gonna you're gonna wait for your game server connected confirmation that the game server pulled that file and loaded it. There's our confirmation. Again, here, when you exit the game server, please make sure you use control C so that it can exit and offload everything out of memory completely and get a clean, good exit. Once we have a good, clean exit, Go back into your save directory or your save folder. There is our Jotun.old files. So it saved the original that we loaded and created the new one. Now, next I'm going to go over some connection errors. And the two most common errors are going to be failed to connect, the first one. This is associated with TCP IP. So IP address the correct port and the correct syntax on both the client and the server side. So if you get if, if you have a friend that's getting this and you're not getting it, make sure that they are putting the IP address in correctly, that they have the correct syntax. If you're getting this error, then look at your port forwarding uh, IP address and syntax on both sides. Now the second error, the incompatible version is a little easier to handle. A lot of times I get this when Steam has automatically updated the game, but the server hasn't been updated. Just make sure that everybody's updated to the latest version. If you run Valheim Plus, you will also get this error for somebody who doesn't have Valheim Plus installed. One of the best tools that I've found for testing Valheim connections is the Valheim Check website. This site allows you to test the connection to your dedicated server and firewall. If either of these is not correct, port forwarding or something's wrong with your server, this will tell you. So if your friends cannot join your server from outside and this site has validated your connection, then the issue is more than likely syntax. Your friends have simply typed the wrong IP address or the wrong port number or something is wrong with the format. They used a space or they used commas or they didn't put a colon or something is wrong with the way they typed the connection. To the bonus content that I promised. I just, I found, in my research doing this, I found some utilities I just wanted to share and I thought were kind of neat. The first being the Valheim World Generator. This is kind of cool because I can take any seed that I have, put it in the seed field, 
and hit go and it'll show me the world what it looks like and I can check the check boxes to see where any of the things are in that world. The other thing is I can hit random. It'll create a seed. It'll show me what the world looks like. And of course, be able to see whatever I want according to the check boxes. I just thought it was a neat little utility. But the cool thing is, I think, is that I can take that seed and copy it, start my Valheim game, put it in, once I've started it, put it here in new, put that seed in, give the seed a name, in this case I've named it Frigga, after the goddess, and click done. Now I've created a world in my local machine that I can now go into my worlds folder on my machine, pull it out, put it in the worlds folder on my dedicated server, and be able to play it with my friends. So I just thought that was a neat little utility, a little something you can play with. The other thing is uh, a couple of websites. All this is in the description. A couple of other websites. I've already showed you the uh, check how to check if your server's up, but you can also rename your Valheim character just in case you've named it something like stupid poopy dog face or you know whatever. You can change it to something more Viking, and it gives you pretty good directions on how to do that. The other uh, website allows you to change your Valheim world name, not change the seed, but the world name. And I just thought those are some cool utilities you might like to enjoy.